going to be the other 101 class. My name is Danica with the Lexington Senior Center. I'm going to go through a few basic yoga moves here that can really help with flexibility for the body, peace in the mind, can help you gain control over your breath and your heart rate, to just name a few of the benefits. So go ahead and find a spot on your floor. And I will suggest, before you take a seat with me, to search around for possibly some things we could use for yoga props. I'm going to be using something like yoga blocks, but you could find something similar in, say, a big, thick book like a dictionary, um, or even a nice sturdy pillow or two. And then our other item is going to be a yoga strap. But this, you could use all kinds of things. Grab for a belt that you don't use, grab for even a hand towel that you would normally dry your hands off in the bathroom or the kitchen. Anything like that will work if you don't have a yoga strap. So feel free to pause the video, go gather your items, and meet me back here when you're ready. all your items, you've got a good spot in your house or a good nice peaceful place to practice, let's get started. Let's find a nice good posture. So I always warm up my day or my yoga practice with a little bit of movement, whether it just be shifting left or right or forward or back. And this is a quick way for me to find any stiff corners of my, that I'm feeling. You know, if my back's a little tight and my hips a little tight <clears throat> but it also helps me sense perhaps what that true center that good posture really feels like as opposed to say looking in a mirror and seeing what it looks like so let's take a few big deep breaths here big inhale sit up nice and tall open up the chest fill up the belly big exhale relax the shoulders Sigh out loudly, empty out all that air. A couple more breaths just like that. Let your neighbor hear you breathe. Release any extra tension that, that you may have built up already in your day. And now for like the next half hour or so, all you've got to do is listen to the video and do your best to mimic the same movements. Now we're going to start off with a nice, easy warm-up, sitting up nice and tall. <clears throat> we're just going to begin slowly moving our neck around. So let's just slowly begin shaking our head no, turning our head from side to side. Find that you can sync this movement with your breath. So what I mean by that is maybe inhaling on one side, exhaling on the other side. Inhaling to turn, exhaling to turn. A few more of these, noticing if the neck feels tight or if we've got a tender side. slowly shake our head yes being very mindful so we're going to lift the chin just slightly and perhaps on an exhale we'll tuck the chin down really stretching out the back of the neck inhale to lift the chin ever so gently exhale to tuck the chin stretch the neck all the while keeping good posture. So throughout this video, you may start off the movement synchronized with me and the words I'm saying, but you may veer off track as you move with your own breath. That's perfectly fine. I want you to sink in with your own body, with your own breath, with 
stretch. Let's take our left hand and cross it over to that right shoulder. And just for a moment, give yourself a little bit of a, of a massage. Maybe just kind of poking around at the muscles there, noticing if there's any tightness and really squeezing the muscles and working out any tightness. Just for a moment, it should feel nice. hand clamp down on the shoulder. Both shoulders sink away from the ears. And we're going to tilt our head to our left. Maybe stretch out this right arm, right, this right hand down to the floor. Here you can even lift or lower the chin to really explore any tight areas of your neck. Even move this right arm around a little bit if that helps to take the stretch in that bicep and upper arm there. Remembering to breathe. Good, bringing everything back to the center. Take a moment and notice if your two sides feel different. It's okay if you don't notice much of a difference, but if you do, Kind of cool to see these little ways that we can open and stretch the body and we can feel the difference. Now let's dive right into the other side. This time the right arm crosses over to that left side of the neck and shoulder area. Starting off by just kind of poking around, finding any tender areas, any tight spots. Maybe squeezing and giving yourself a little massage. Relaxing both shoulders away from the ears and stretching out that left hand towards the floor. Tilting our head to our right. <clears throat> Here I welcome a little bit of free movement, so maybe lifting the chin gives you a better stretch. Maybe lowering the chin is how you find that tight spot. Maybe moving that left arm around be helpful in, extension, in extending the stretch. Take a few big deep breaths. Good. Release all that. Bring the arm back to center, the head back to center. Nice. Keeping our focus right in the shoulders here extra tight. Maybe we just start off with some shoulder shrugs. Bringing the shoulders high, 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 close to the ears, and then gently dropping them down away from the ears. Lifting the shoulders, maybe on an inhale. Lowering the shoulders, maybe on an exhale. And maybe that little bit of movement has allowed you to open up, and maybe these shoulder shrugs turn into shoulder circles. So perhaps on an inhale, we lift the shoulders, pull them behind us, drop, and round forward. Finding this openness as we inhale. Of course, if the shoulders aren't exactly even, if we've got a better one than the other, perhaps we work with one at a time. Finding some circles backwards on one, and finding some circles backwards on the other. We'll take a moment to even out both sides, and we'll find a few switching the rotation and bringing the shoulders forward. So to slow that down, perhaps on an inhale, we lift the shoulders, bring them forward, exhale to lower the shoulders.
find it helpful to splay out my elbows wide, to really stretch out the middle part of my back. Just a couple of those. Keep it neutral. Good. Now let's stretch out our side. Let's sweep the arms out to each side, scooping some, up some air. Hands meet overhead, palms facing in. We'll leave the right arm in the air, left arm down by her side, even pressing into the mat that is forming the hips. Inhale, just reach straight up, get taller than your foot, stretching up this whole right side of our back, our neck, our arm, our side. And then we're going to walk this left hand out in front of a big yummy side stretch, reaching over the body. side, sweeping both arms up, out, and above. This time the left arm stays up there, the right arm comes down for a bit of support. Reaching straight up, getting taller if you could. And then we'll walk our supporting hand, our right hand, out to the side for a big nice side stretch here. Just add a little bit more to this stretch by slightly taking your gaze up to the ceiling. Our meat is the corner of the ceiling. Good. Release that. Arm comes down. And you can always shake it out if that feels like a lot. You need to just kind of create a little extra movement. That's always welcome in my class. <clears throat> Let's bring a little warmth and attention to our hands. Quite literally, let's bring some warmth. Create some friction in the palms. Maybe share that with the backs of the hands or the forearms. Warming up the shoulders. Literally warming up the body can feel nice. And then sharing that with the knees and the legs. And then just back to the hands. We'll let the palms fall and maybe just create a little movement in the fingers and the thumbs and the wrists. We just go back and forth here or maybe wrist circles are something we can do. One way then the other. to our lower half. Let's look down at our toes and just for a moment, just kind of crunch the toes up, spread them open. Let's take my socks off because I'm getting warmed up here, but feel free to leave your socks on, well, at least while we're sitting. Don't always take your, you don't always leave the socks on for standing poses because you might slide around and we don't love the idea. While we're sitting, solid is fine. So for a moment, we're just welcoming free movement. So you may see me moving my wrists, but I'm trying to get my legs going. That's really my point here. Wiggling toes, moving ankles. Maybe just kind of shaking the legs out, literally. And here we're going to take use of that yoga strap, or maybe you grab for a dish towel, a belt, any of those items. And we're going to strap the widest part of our feet, so it's placed right below our toes. And we're going to take the strap and hold it in our arms evenly. So if you notice you're doing something like this, just take the time to even out the shoulders, even out the hands. If you find that you're holding the strap really close, you can always wrap the hands around too so that the elbows and the arms can relax a little bit here. <clears throat> so on an inhale, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. As 
as we exhale, we're gonna draw the belly in. Really stretch the feet out. And as if you could, think about the feet going in opposite directions. So your right foot's pressing out to your right, and your left foot is pressing out to your left without it actually going anywhere. But you're creating that action and that movement. Well, you're creating the energy of movement. Perhaps that's a better way to say it. Inhale nice and tall. And as we exhale, we're just going to fold forward, pulling that strap towards us. The more you pull the strap, the more you're going to feel that stretch in the back of the calves. The less you pull the strap, you're going to feel that stretch more in your lower back. Create a little movement here. So perhaps on an inhale, we lift up a little. Just making space and making some air. Expand our chest. And as we exhale, we fold again, bending from the hips. Belly touches the thighs as you bend forward. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale to fall. somewhere near me so that I can pick that leg out to the side. It's a great use for your dictionary, your pillow, or your yoga block. <clears throat> and then we're going to take the strap in both hands again. Take a moment to turn the body ever so slightly so the shoulders are facing that left foot. Wrap the strap around your hands if you need so the arms can be stretched out. On an inhale, we sit up tall. As we exhale, we bend from the hips, folding over, pulling back on that strap. Inhale to lift nice and tall. Exhale to bend and fold. Once more on this side. ourselves back up to that good posture. We'll stretch out both feet just for a nice seamless transition. Strap is around the right foot, left foot is going to switch just how the other leg was and kind of just kick out to the side, maybe on a pillow. Take a moment to take the strap in both hands. Find a little tiny twist here towards our right foot. And as we bend, we exhale. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. And we'll lift back up on this side. Now we can set the strap off to the side for now. position before we switch our bodies entirely. So just for a moment, find a cross-legged seat. <clears throat> We're going to find a nice good twist to get our middles to continue to warm up. So inhale nice and tall. I like to make a light prayer position with my hands here. And as you exhale, begin to draw the belly in. Creating some activity here, pulling those muscles in, squeezing. Inhale naturally. Exhale, come back to that activating movement, drawing those muscles in. Perhaps at the end of that exhale, we'll begin to twist. Go to the left side. We're not going to twist very far, we're just getting warmed up on these. 
inhale, coming up. Exhale, draw the belly in. Relax the shoulders. We're going to try and flip this way. some free movement that was a little too stationary or too formative of movement. Wiggle around a little bit and then we will all switch positions to hands and knees. <clears throat> you will clear your mat of anything that might be in your way and let me show you a few different things that we can do here that can warm up our spine warm up our shoulders, our back, and our, our lower back specifically into our hips. So as we set up for tabletop or hands and knees, let's spread each hand as far as it will go. And then we'll press down that hand right underneath each shoulder. Press down through the fingertips. This will take a little bit of stress out of the wrists. But if we know the wrist could still use a little extra care, we may also double up our yoga mat. That's going to make things a little bit easier. And you can also do that same thing for, say, underneath the knees, if, the, if, if it's, it's the knees that need a little extra care. So keeping that in mind. Now our hands are spread out. We're pressing down through our fingertips. What if I tap cow? So on an inhale, we're going to find cow position where we arch the back, lift the tailbone, bring the chest forward and lift the chin. And as you exhale, we'll begin to find the reverse where we draw the belly in, round the back, round the shoulders, let the head hang. Using your inhale to bring the chest forward, three, the chin lifts. Using your exhale to draw the belly in, pull the belly button up, 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 round the shoulders and let the head hang. Move through these a few times here. Inhale to arch the back, give it a smiley face. Exhale to round the back, creating the shape of a rainbow. Good. And you may find that you can perhaps add a little creativity here. And what that may look like is perhaps inhaling and leaning to one side, exhaling and rounding out the other side. Exhaling to lean, dip the hips back. We find a little bit of fluidity, a little bit of welcomed coloring outside the lines. While we're still remaining true to that spine movement of inhaling to arch and exhaling to round. our hands, especially if that was a lot, <clears throat> on the wrists. Feel free to sit like I'm sitting or sit in another form that is more comfortable in your body. And we're quite literally just going to give a little love with our hands. So you can start by just kind of pressing around, especially with your thumb, 
coming in, you can reduce props. It might feel nice to kind of draw lines in between each finger and your palm here. And it just feels nice to welcome some more wrist movement like we did earlier. That's a great way to get the wrist a little happier if it's got a lot of stress on them. We're going to end this class with a nice full body movement. I like to call it a mini sun salutation. Um, so it's a nice way to get the hips, the shoulders, the back moving, the abdomen, and the arms and legs all working together in a coordinated movement. It's okay if this doesn't come overly easy at first, but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it by the end of it. So we'll come back to that tabletop position. <clears throat> and from here, you can do one of two things. You can either walk the knees back, or maybe walk the, sh the hands forward. So think about being at the top of a push-up while on your knees. As you exhale, begin to lower with control as much as you can. On an inhale, we're going to find a little bit of an arc, a back bend. As you exhale, we just come back down to the ground. And as you inhale, we're going to do a big, strong push up back to that beginning position. Exhale, hips go back to a child pose. Now we're going to do that a few times, but I believe it'll make a little more sense as we go along. So inhale to bring the shoulders over the hands. Exhale to lower with control. Inhale to lift up into a back bend. It doesn't have to be a big one. Exhale to lower. Inhale, big push up, you are strong. Exhale, hips go back. A little bit of relaxation. Do two more of these. Inhale, shoulders come forward. Exhale to lower. Inhale, we find a back bend. Exhale, we lower. Inhale, push up. Exhale, hips go back. Inhale, forward. This is our last one. Exhale, lower with control. Inhale to lift to a back bend. Exhale, to lower. Inhale, push up. Exhale, Child Pose. A few different options you can find in Child's Pose. Perhaps the arms are stretched out. And you let the head bow down. Or perhaps you could stack, make two fists, kind of plant your elbow, and stack one fist over top of the other. And let the head rest on that top fist. Or perhaps we just lean into our elbows. So arms can be kind of stretched out, head hangs, and maybe we lift the hands up. For some reason your body still doesn't like this pose, that's perfectly fine. Maybe perhaps find a rest where you lie belly down, legs stretched out. <clears throat> that may look something like this. Similarly, you can stack your hands, stack your fists, and 
place your forehead there. This pose being called crocodile pose. So we've got two different resting poses we can let sit with. We can rest in, we can catch our breath. a little extra long if you like. Or perhaps we'll just end this practice or come to a nice seated position together. Moving towards the end of the practice. <clears throat> I love to check in with myself after I'm in the middle of a yoga class here, and I'll place one hand on my heart, one hand on my belly. And just take a few big deep breaths. Breathing in, feeling the breath fill up our chest, fill up our belly. Forces us to put a little more focus on our own. attention inward. So this move is great for after doing strenuous activity, but it's also good if you're a person that happens to experience anxiety. This is a great way to begin calming the nervous system, calming the body. challenging pose and then we'll get to lie down. So as my last pose I'd like to cover here, I'm going to explore boat pose. And this boat, this pose can look like a lot of different things for a lot of different people, plenty of variations. So we'll kind of go through a couple of them. Any way about it, the knees are going to be bent and we're going to sit upright just like so. Nice, good, tall posture and legs are parallel. Take a moment to establish your breath here and feeling comfortable. <clears throat> Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, draw the belly in, create that really strong posture. And we'll lean back, perhaps with hands behind knees as we're learning this pose. So we're already gonna feel our abdomen awake we're going to feel that lower back start working. But perhaps you do want a little more challenge. And if so, maybe we test out the idea of lifting one foot. Or maybe the other foot. Maybe we quickly realize two feet is too much and we switch and just do one at a time. Another way you can add a little challenge here before letting the hands go. You really want to solidify that posture, draw the belly in, feel very strong in your core. Maybe we take one hand out and then the other. Of course, maybe that means you gotta take a foot down or both feet down. And then we focus on just having the hands be free. So there's a lot of different ways you can make this pose work for you. Another option is reaching for our yoga strap or our towel or belt and taking that around the feet, wrapping that around the hands, and you can lean back here. Pressing the feet out, pulling that strap or curl back towards you. All of these poses, or all of these variations of boat pose, are going to help with your posture, your core strength, your back strength, and your balance. So whether that was 
very easy or pretty difficult or somewhere in between. Let it be just that, no big deal. We can always practice it again. <sighs> and let's ease ourselves down. So maybe that means that we're just walking our hands from side to side until we can put elbows down and then shoulders. <clears throat> And this is a part of the class where we truly get to re begin relaxing all of these muscles. Even the muscles that we've specifically chosen to do certain work, we now relax them. So take a few big deep breaths, just allowing the shoulders and the whole back to be supported by the ground beneath you. If you lost your breath somewhere along the way, you can catch it here. Maybe you're still feeling some energy coursing through you. Maybe you need a little bit of movement. So I'll do things like let my knees fall from one side to another. It could be a nice way of stretching out the sides stretching out those hip joints, stretching out the lower back. And one more nice stretch that I'll throw on top of there, throw in here. Your four stretch. So maybe that strap is still nearby. You may find we don't need it, but we'll explore the option either way. So let's cross the right leg over the left. <clears throat> and maybe from there we'll reach behind that left leg to pull the leg closer to you. option here is to go for the strap or towel or belt, whatever we're using, and have that be placed behind the leg. Here we can pull the strap a little closer to us in case we can't clasp hands. As we do that, we're going to be stretching out our right hip, remembering to breathe. Just because we're holding a pose doesn't mean we're holding our breath. We'll try that out on the other side. So your feet start off planted on the floor. Left leg will cross over right. Maybe we're just reaching behind that leg or maybe we're using a belt to help connect one hand to the other. We pull that right leg closer in to get a stretch on the left hip. Continuing with those big deep breaths. And then from there, we'll let both feet fall to the ground. And we'll do a quick body scan to welcome a total rest for the whole entire body. So perhaps you put socks back on and you find some way to get comfy. Stretch out the legs, stretch out the arms. Check in with your face and notice any tightness you may feel. Let's try smoothing the forehead of any concerns. Try unfurling the eyebrows. Try closing your eyes. We can relax the jaw, allowing a little bit of space in between the upper set of teeth and the lower teeth. Maybe pulling the shoulder blades down away from the ears to let the neck feel long. From there, everything just gets heavy. Shoulder blades sink into the mat. Elbows and arms get heavy. The hips feel 
heavy. And each leg is a little heavier, maybe leans out to each side, relaxing the front of the hips. Maybe there's a slight bend in your knees as we relax through the thighs, through the knees and calves, through the ankles and feet. Let your hands rest on your belly or out to your side and just notice how your chest and belly rise and fall with your breath. Giving a sense of lightness to balance out the breath and the, the, the heavy pull on the belly. Take a few big deep breaths. Feel free to hang out in this pose as long as you like. But for video purposes, we'll wrap it up. chest or in front of your head. And then you just take the palms to the forehead, saying namaste. Meaning that the light in me recognizes the light in you. Thank you for joining my class today and I hope you have a great rest of your day.